uh, to give a presentation to this audience about how to use social media to build your personal brand online. And I'm really excited because this is something that's different that not a lot of people talk about. And I'm sure that there's people in this audience right now that have wanted to do something like this. Please help me welcome Keith Cal. Let's do it. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Awesome. My friends, there's a new influencer in the world today, and it's you. There's a new celebrity in your industry, and it's you. And I wanna ask you, does anybody in the room have a personal story inside of them that they wanna share, but they don't know how to get it out, out there? Is there anybody who maybe went through some tough life lessons or overcame something in their life, built a business. It could be even parenting, it could be anything. And you have this driving desire inside of you and you're feeling there's a deeper life's purpose calling you and you wanna get it out there and share your message with the world. Raise your hand, is there anybody? Awesome. What I wanna to share today is the five steps that you can use to build your personal brand online. And they're very simple steps. And they're things that I learned through my journey that have helped me get a million, a million views a month on social media and build a five, soon to be six figure business. And I'm actually not the guy, I'm actually learning from some very powerful internet rock stars who do you know, over $100,000 a month. And it's not about the money, it's about the life's, your life's deepest calling and purpose because if you wanna build your personal brand and story online, you might think, I don't have time to do this because I'm, I'm busy working, I'm running my business, I'm taking care of my clients and my family. And if you have this little bit of time left, maybe at the end of the evening to try to do something like this, if you're not getting paid, you're not monetizing it. You've heard monetizing, right? If you're not monetizing it, then you can't sustain the message. The money sustains the message. Does anybody have a book inside of them that they've always wanted to write one day? Raise your hand. That's beautiful. So, thank you very much for having me today. And I wanna tell you my story of, of how I did this, okay? Uh, six years ago, I was struggling. I was stuck, I was stuck in a dead-end job and getting my own landscaping business off the ground. And I realized that I had replaced my income in only six weeks and started my own small business and left my job. And through that journey and that struggle of building a, a small business up to six figures, this massive weight was off my shoulders and I started documenting it and sharing it on the internet. Does anybody here uh, have a YouTube channel or think about starting that or posting on Facebook? Yeah? And does anybody here post uh, pictures or videos or content online about their small business? Awesome, awesome. So. I started documenting the struggle, but not to my customers, it's to would-be people who wanted to start their own landscaping business. I was speaking to a specific person. It was the guy that I called Joe. It was the former version of myself. And what I noticed is that all these Joes started showing up in masses because of I was being vulnerable and I was sharing the life's lessons that I was going through. Well. What happened was the video started getting over 100,000 views a month. And then I said, you know what? I've got to monetize this, this is really, really hard. So I started writing books. I wanna show you this real quick. I started creating books and audiobooks and online courses and teaching other would-be contractors all over the country and all over the world how to do this and it was the way that I monetized my message. Now, uh, in today's talk, I wanna share with you five specific steps of how you can do this and how you can make a whole side business, a whole side income online with your business. Does anybody um, want to do this? Does anybody wanna build a business on the side or start sharing on social media? 
Or do you, do you want to more specifically start, there's two ways you can approach this. One way is the consumer model. That's where you create content and information online and you build a personal brand around your business where you actually become the face of your business and now you start making uh, edutainment, educational, entertaining vlogs and videos and how-to videos and advice online that your local market can see so you can drive more customers into your actual existing business. The second model is the contractor model. That's where you're talking to people who want to do what you're doing for a living, but they're just not there yet. They're not where you're at yet. Okay? Now, how you do that is, I want to make sure I'm on my time here. Okay. The first step is you define your niche. Can I get a raise of hands? What percentage of people, one, would like to make content and videos around becoming a personal brand on the face of their company to drive more business into their actual existing business? Okay, that's pretty good. And then what percentage of the people in the room want to make maybe vlogs and videos sharing their personal life lessons and story and build a side business online and becoming an influencer and build a whole side business, maybe with uh, uh, information products, coaching, teaching, uh, writing books, things like that? Okay. So you can actually... Create content online, uh, uh, YouTube videos, Facebook videos, Instagram posts, but when you put rails up on your, your model, your business model, and you get very clear about who I'm talking to and who I'm not talking to. This is what we do, this is why we do it, this is how we do it. This is what we don't do, this is how we don't do it, and this is why we don't do it. What's going to happen is when you consistently post content on social media that's specifically niched out, and that's step number one of the five steps, is define your niche. And be very crystal clear about what you're putting on the internet and how you're, you're building the model of what you're talking about and communicating with your prospective audience. So say, if you want to market your business online and become a personal brand, uh, it doesn't matter what you do, you can hang your content on a framework and just take this, I love this thing, a selfie stick, people make fun of people for having this, you can literally clip your iPhone in something like this and get yourself like a, a selfie light or a diva ring light and write down um, this, the three steps homeowners make before buying a house for the first time. Is there any people that are in real estate? Okay, if, it doesn't matter if you're a dentist, a lawyer, a doctor, you own a cleaning service, if you're a landscaper, if you're a financial advisor, you can create content that says, the three steps to this. And you just sit down with, a, with a, a light on you in front of the camera and you start talking to those specific people who have questions and concerns that maybe nobody is answering in your local market. So if you make videos about that and you start talking about that and doing that consistently, say making a video a week and you build it into the marketing plan of your business, then what happens if you tag and title all these videos and you consistently keep putting this information out there people are going to start showing up and then you start rising up as an authority in your marketplace for your current niche, whatever your business is, right? Now, if you're trying to talk to a global audience and not just driving customers into your business, there's an emergent property that happens if you take the second route, which is the, not the consumer model, but the contractor model. When you're talking to people who want to get into what you're doing and you're documenting the process. Say, for instance, in my business, uh, we'll show a landscape project. I, I literally will take my phone out and I'll start vlogging. Very specific, I know who I'm talking to. I go, hey, what's up, this is Keith Kelfis, and I'm with uh, Kelfis Landscaping in Sterling Heights, because I, I have a business in Sterling Heights. And uh, right now, we're taking care of this customer's property. I'm gonna show you a before video and an after video. So I'll actual, actually document the process. It doesn't matter if you do carpet cleaning. You're documenting the before and after, and you're showing it. You're showing customers results in advance. When you show them that, you don't have to talk too much. The proof is in the pudding. When you do these type of things, or if you're talking and teaching people how to get into carpet cleaning, or whatever type of business that you're in, think about it in, in your business. It doesn't matter if you sell cosmetics or makeup or anything that you do. If you show the process, think about some of the people that you watch on the internet, the, pre, the emergent property is 
since you're documenting the process, you're inspiring people and teaching them how to do it, which is very valuable, but your prospective customers in your local marketplace as well are seeing it, and they go, you know what? I like that person. They'll actually show up to learn the how-to stuff or how it's done before somebody invests money into their, their, their home or to whatever they're trying to do. They might look it up on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. If they see you documenting the process and just sharing information and talking about it, and you're very specific about that, they might look at you as, you know what, this person knows what they're talking about. They're an authority. And if you're in the local marketplace, then what happens is they're going to pick up the phone and they're going to hire you because they already know you, like you, and trust you. How can you get in front of people in a way like never before for cheaper than ever through organic marketing and putting content online, niche-based content, and get people to know you, like you, and trust you? Is anybody here of, uh, videotape, uh, afraid of videotaping themselves or talking in front of camera? Not too many? Okay. There's something I want to teach you called the anti-guru effect. We feel like we have to be this professional. We have to be this polished professional who is like the people we see on TV. And I, I used to do this crazy thing, my time here, that I used to record myself over and over and over. And I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. My name's Keith Kelfs. Shit. My name is Keith. And, and I do it till I would be breaking out in a sweat completely in anxiety, and then I would look in the gallery in my phone, and I would have like 40 videos, and I'm like, I'm a schizophrenic. I'm an absolute schizophrenic. So, has anybody tried anything like this? Okay, cool, cool. So, just like anything, once you do it over and over and over, you get to the point where you're good at it. The anti-guru effect is where you don't have to be polished at all. Actually being unpolished, just being who you are and where you're at right now, is just fine. It actually gives you more credibility when you're not polished. What do I mean by that? I'll give you an example. It's a little harsh, but let's say somebody's going through bankruptcy and they're terrified. They don't know what to expect. They go searching online and then they see a video of some polished lawyer in a suit, which is fine, and he's giving advice on how to go through the bankruptcy process. You might watch that and pay attention and learn. But on the next video, you see a guy who's just an average Joe or an average Jan, and she's telling the story of how she recently went through bankruptcy, and she's on the, out on the back end of it, and she's like, she's, she feels relieved, and she's telling you how it actually wasn't that bad and all these things that she learned through the process, and it's not that bad. She's reassuring you, like, the person's credibility in your mind goes way up because now you can relate to them. You can feel, you know, this person's like me. Oh my God. You might even actually pay more attention to the person who's actually going through the process. So who you are is just fine. You can market your business on social media and dominate your local marketplace. You can literally become the most known and highest rated and reviewed business owner in your whole area and start to become an authority, an influencer, and even some people have become celebrity status online. You know what I'm saying? So the next step, step two, is when you create content on social media, there's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Snapchat. Uh, who here is posting on social media regularly? Do you post on media, uh, social media personally or for your business? Both? Do you have separate channels? Yeah, okay, that's awesome. So create a content marketing calendar. Literally, uh, once a year, draw out a whole calendar and say on each different season, you know, winter, spring, summer, fall, or every time there's a holiday, that gives you an excuse to market and fire up a YouTube or a Facebook or Instagram Live and start talking about promoting your business and sharing your specials, sharing your knowledge and advice and your wisdom with your audience, with your customers, even if nobody's watching. Uh, how much time do I have? Am I good? Huh? Okay, cool. Okay, so 
My very first video was me standing nervous in front of the camera saying, hi, I'm Keith and I want to show, uh, share how I started a landscaping business. And I just told this whole story. The video got one view. I was like, oh. And then I made another video, it got like three views. And I just kept making video after video after video after video after video. And now I was like, you know what, I kind of like this. This is a personal practice. Like, I feel like I'm like, my, my friend uh, called me up one time. He's like, bro, are, are you using this as like therapy or something? <laughs> and, and you know, the funny part was I actually was. It was my therapy was talking to the camera. But the crazy thing is I kept doing it. And that initial first video I made has like something like 200,000 views now. Because if you keep going consistently, you just don't stop. And you keep posting a video, two to three videos a week, posting content online about your business and sharing with your customers and clients and showing them the process and talking about the most important thing and being driven by your life's deepest calling and purpose. What is the thing that you stay up at night thinking about that you wish you could do, that you dream that you could do? There's got to be something. And when that drives you and you want to serve other people and you have that in your heart when you talk on the camera, it's a totally, totally different effect when you really, really actually care. Because people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care, right? Okay, so the final step is build your tribe. So once you start getting views on these videos and people are watching, they're gonna start asking you questions. They wanna know more. You're no longer just talking into the camera, you're actually talking to the people who really wanna know. They're gonna come out with questions. You can make Q&A videos, you can respond to them, and you can really, really build this entire tribe of people that you're loyal to them and they're loyal to you. And then if you actually do you know, have a special for your business or you wanna launch a book, right? You can let them know that the book is coming. I locked myself in my office for two and a half uh, weeks. Uh, each time I wrote both these books, I was terrified that nobody would buy them and I was wasting my time, and I went through what's called the product launch formula, and I've sold um, over 10,000 copies of these books. So, and then I, I built a little uh, booth in my basement, like a, a sound booth, and I recorded audio books, and then sold a bunch of those as well, and then created online courses, teaching people how to start a landscaping and window cleaning business. And um, I think I did uh, $54,000 online last year through like nine different streams of income and this year I should hit uh, just under six figures by selling information products online, teaching people from the bottom of my heart how to do this. And then, so if you wanna do something like that, uh, write this down. There's a phenomenal guy that I follow. His name is Brendan Burchard. Brendan Burchard, he has a, a course called Experts Academy. And then I don't have anything to sell you guys today. I don't, I don't have anything to sell you. I just want to share. If you do want to talk to me and, and you have questions specifically for me, uh, keithkelfis.com forward slash call. We can get on the phone that we can talk. But one more thing here, and then we'll go into Q&A. Uh, the fifth step is monetize and sell them stuff. Like I said, you have to make money and monetize in order to sustain the message. Otherwise, you'll get really burned out and you'll get frustrated really, really quickly. Even if it's just in your small business and you're creating all this content online, and um, let's say you wanna hire virtual assistants to start writing blog post articles. Uh, in my online business, I have four different virtual assistants working for me, and I have uh, videographers, a video editor in Russia who's editing the videos. You can, like, um, you can get, virtual assistants to do things a lot cheaper than you can in the US through upwork.com. I'm about to hire a marketing agency to write thousand word blog post articles so you can get help doing this, but if you're not making money and monetizing the message or selling more in your local business off and making more money off of this and monetizing it, then you can't sustain the message. You'll be stuck up all night trying to do it yourself. Does that make sense? Yes or yes? Okay. So the five different ways that you can monetize this aside from selling uh, products and services to your current clients is you can create information products online. Your cost of goods sold is almost nothing. It costs $2.32 to print a book. This is Amazon Create Space, print on demand. When a customer buys it, I don't even do anything. It just, they just get shipped all over the world to people's houses and I don't do anything except collect book royalties from this. If you're creating 
information products like online courses. If you want to create like a, a six video course showing people how to do what you've done, believe it or not, there's people all over the world that are literally dreaming about doing what you guys have done in the world today. Like you wouldn't be here in this room right now unless you have already done some kick-ass stuff in your life. Like people that are here right now are committed, right? Like cheer if you're committed, like clap if you're committed. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just want to encourage you that if you do want to start monetizing your message and becoming uh, what they call an influencer online and building your personal brand, whether it's something like this or whether it's being the face of your company and now stepping out and becoming an influencer in your local marketplace, you could become the authority, the number one person. Like, Go look in the mirror and say, you know what? In my business, I'm going to be the number one known person for this whole thing. It doesn't matter if you have a, a multi-million dollar business or not. You could become the number one most known, like, and trusted person that everybody knows on social media, and you become the go-to person because you're learning how to do this and you're putting this information online. So that's really, really cool. Um, so information products, uh, paperback books, e-books, audio books, uh, online courses, and then you can actually get into one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, is anybody here believe that? Does anybody here have anybody that, like, people always kind of come to them for advice and help, and you're the person that they call all the time? You guys got some really healthy boundaries. <laughs> so you can get into one on one coaching where people can pay you, you know, it's from $100 to $700 an hour to get on the phone and teach them how to do what you have already done. And people will willingly, happily pay. And now you have a whole other stream of residual, uh, I mean, it's not residual, but it's a whole other stream of income coming in by people paying you for coaching. And then the next step is group coaching, which you could coach people in groups. The highest step is online events. You could throw masterminds, workshops, online events. Uh, my online event is, I mean, my live event, the marketing ROI, is in September of this year. I think we're actually going to do it in this building. Uh, we're going to have between three and 500 people. And uh, people from all over the country are going to fly in. And the, some of the rock stars in my industry are going to teach, and people will pay for that. And so you can do all of that stuff. So uh, I want to move into Q&A. You have a question. I see you here. Very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the number one is defining your niche. Mm -hmm. And that's putting the rails up on your whole construct of how you're going to communicate online, exactly who you're going to talk to. You define that niche very clearly. You're not talking to everybody. You're just talking to the specific people. And create a customer avatar who you would call, come up with the name right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, build your tribe. So it's define your niche. Two is create content on social media. Three is learn marketing. Four is build your tribe. And five is monetize and sell them stuff. Awesome. Okay, the key word is documenting. Document. Are we over time? We're good. We're done? Okay, so start documenting everything in your business. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. So can I just hire you to do anything for me? No. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that, but there's a but. All the resources can point you in the direction. And if you want to do it, like, it's, the opportunity is here. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Talk about relatable. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have some, some very nice ideas. Taking ourselves to the next level. That's what we're all about this morning. So, thank you.